welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time tuning in it's a sudani mommy aye chilina chol here i'm gonna start off by just showing you guys how i make like my own trendy chopped salad the miniature like pre-made bags i demolished those way too quickly so i decided to get the bigger bags so i didn't have to chop them but I chopped them a little bit. I'm talking about like chopping the cabbage, carrots and all that. Yeah, you got it. But this is I just chop up a little bit smaller. It's easier to eat a chopped salad for some reason. And it's more fun. I also end up chopping some spinach. A little more fiber. Some iron, if you will. For my vitamin D deficient sisters. I also found some wonton strips at the dollar store that I add on top of it. I didn't add it in this one. I use an Asian sesame dressing that I found at Target. And then you can add whatever protein on top. I usually get chicken. I get chicken on everything. The salmon would be nice. I'm not a big steak person, but you know, steak if you're feeling fancy. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Enjoy. That was my dinner last night and then for breakfast i am making a matcha before my hair appointment i am an at-home hairstylist i use my frother sometimes this is my chunky at home sugar cookie syrup it was refrigerated it's been there forever and it's just like thick that wasn't hot enough so i decided to put it in a pan and cook it on the stove stirring it and then i taste test it to make sure it's like how much i want matcha i got from amazon and then sugar cookie syrup is like the copycat one from starbucks but it's not that great it's okay <sighs> it's missing the preservatives but yeah it still tasted really good it's giving more like an depthful vanilla syrup more or less than a sugar cookie syrup then washing my dishes cleaning up a little bit on the weekend before my hair appointment Okay, now let's get started on the dread extension. This client, I first did the hair in 2020 for the first time. I've done it like once a year, but rarely. The appointments, the retwist are far and in between, which is not a good idea. I'm over here just looking over at his dreads, noticing that he left his two hands, two strand twist in since I did it last time in March. The is nine months. He had these in for nine months. That's too much weight and tension on your hair. It breaks your hair, it leads to balding, and even the dreads can fall out. The weight of one extension is one part thing, and then also it's the weight of two now on one specific area. After I took out the two strand twist, I washed his dreads with a clarifying shampoo 
and conditioner. Here I am just parting out his hair and deciding where what dreads are gonna go where. Um, since it's been so long, his hair's kind of moved around and shifted, and it can be tricky to figure out where you need, want them to lay. Like I was saying, it can be tricky um, figuring out where you want the dreads to lay. They're all extended dreads. I use mango and lime, Jamaican mango and lime locking wax. I'll have it linked down below as well. The Jamaican mango and lime line, they have a gel also that works great for like looser curl patterns. The wax I think is nice because it gives it more hold and it's better for tighter curls. I coil with the comb first and then I twist it with my hand. And lastly, I'll barrel roll it together and clip it to set in place. So here I am doing the same thing again, getting some wax around it. Here's another angle you can take a look um, I'm parting it I'm going with like the natural hair line how it was tangled a little bit but nothing to causing too much breakage a little just to straighten the part a little bit but if it's too much of a fight or it's too tangled I just leave it as is and there we go and adding some more wax putting the hair out of the way I like using a comb at first at the root because it like picks up all the hair and brings it together and then twisting it with my hand. And lastly, the barrel roll again. I'm gonna show you guys, this one is me reattaching a dread extension that fell out before. At first I'm detangling the hair, combing out um, the end of some loose hair. I have this because I'm reattaching an old piece. When you get a brand new one, the hair automatically comes combed out. I take the hair, um, separate it into like three sections. It is kind of small because you know there's not really much hair left in it after it falls out. So you're just trying to pull it together and make a do. I've tried other styles of like doing the instant dread, but I think this is the best one that gives it a lot of grip and like support to hold it down. I'm braiding the natural hair of the client as well as the loose hair on the dread extension. I only do a couple rotations around like, a, like you would do a normal braid. And then I flip the dread to the other side. You can watch, I'm gonna do it in slow-mo. Flip the dread to the other side, and then I do another couple rotations here. This entire process I do really tight, and then I move on to the other side again and flip it, going back and forth, back and forth. Couple rotations to flip to the other side. I repeat this, I'm out of hair. I do this till I can't braid anymore. When there's very little hair left over, I wrap it around the dread. And this gives it a nice anchor. And I use the small crochet needle to instant dread it. I've seen tools that have like three pins at the same time, which would probably be even faster. But I just used one, the smallest one. I think it's like 0.75 millimeters. I'll also have that one linked down below. But you're just stabbing, poking it through and you're essentially dreading it up and making sure it's like tight in. It's a really tedious process, but you just keep going and going over and over again. My best technique I know that tangles it up a little faster is I start from the bottom and I'm pulling the hair to tangle from a, like along the, the dread. So you're pulling it from down upward into the root 
instead of like stabbing it just horizontally i guess at an angle helps it a little bit more to get it more tangled move around just do it in different spaces and just be patient it takes a while you gotta keep going and going and then eventually this is me just continuously going through I blow dry it and for about 15 minutes, but if you have a dryer, you can sit under it even better so you don't have to stand there with your hand getting tired. And this is the finished product after I take out the clips. Yeah. Dread extensions wear. This grew out of a scalp. Isn't that nice? If you enjoyed this video, stay tuned for more hair tutorials on my page. If there's anything else you'd like to see, just let me know. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Bye.